It won't get the astronaut into space, but it could save his life. With only two days to go before the launch, there is time at last for some relaxation. While the last three candidates play, others are hard at work. There can only be one winner in this race for space. In a few hours' time, one candidate will learn that he's been chosen to be China's first man in space. There is no relaxation at the landing site. The weather conditions here will determine the launch date. The spacecraft can't be launched until it is safe to land. The nine recovery teams, four helicopters, and five mobile medical units have trained and trained again. Their job is to get to the astronaut quickly, get him out of the re-entry capsule, and get him to safety. Just finding him in the vast grasslands of the Inner Mongolian landing zone will be a challenge. After five years of training, the end is in sight. The rocket is ready. Training is complete. From a start of 1,500 candidates, there are now just three finalists. Tomorrow, one will go on the ride of his life. The astronauts have had one last home visit. Time to say goodbye. Perhaps for the last time. Now it's time to return to the launch center. The candidates have come a long way since they first volunteered to become astronauts. They have seen 1,500 of their comrades fail to make the grade. Now there are just three. They'll all fly to the launch center, but they still don't know which one will fly into space. <laughs> At the astronaut's residence, tension mounts. When the word comes through, it's Yang Li Wei, who has been selected to be China's first man in space. With four hours to go before launch, there's time for one last meal before China's first astronaut embarks on his mission. The launch is not televised live, but cameras do record it for posterity. It's a great event in the history of China. Fifty years ago, Chairman Mao complained, how can China call itself a great nation? It can't even put a potato in space. Now, China is poised to do what only two nations have done before. It is not a potato that China will launch into space, but a man. Although the public does not know that China is about to enter the age of manned flight, no lesser personage than the president of China has flown through the night to bid a personal farewell to astronaut Young. Astronaut Young will enter the rocket at around 6 a.m. President Hu flew to the launch center after attending the third plenum of the 16th Communist Party Congress. It's an important moment for him and for China.
杨明伟同志、翟志刚同志、李海胜同志，你们好。一会儿，杨利伟同志就将作为我国第一位探索太空的勇士出征，就要带着祖国和人民的重托，去实现中华民族遨游太空的梦想。我们等待着你。胜利归来！我一定不辜负总书记和全国人民的希望和重托，用最饱满的热情去迎接这次任务。我向总书记和全国人民保证，坚决完成任务，不辱使命Waiting is over. Five years have been spent training for the next few moments. Delegations from the three candidates' home counties are there to see them off. Astronaut Young is bussed the 1.5 kilometers to the launch tower. 